Welcome back. You know it's an iconic structure in Michigan. You might even see it on your license plates. It's the Mighty Mac, that amazing suspension bridge that connects the two peninsulas of Michigan. It's instantly recognizable. If you want a closer look and maybe even a bird's eye view, take a look at this. As you're traveling north on 75, headed up north, you'll see the signs for the man-killing giant clam, the mystery spot, but you know you've truly arrived when you see that first iconic tower of the Mackinac Bridge, and then the second, no matter how many times you've seen it before, it kind of fills you with awe and wonder, like something from an L. Frank Baum story. And as you check out the miles and miles of emerald cable suspending this bridge, the largest in the Western Hemisphere, you know you are really in for something special. Mackinac City the gateway to the Upper Peninsula. We spent some time there to see what it has to offer, and we learned a little bit about the Mackinac Bridge itself. To do that, we have to head down there, talk to a man named Bob. Every year we get about uh, four million vehicles that uh, travel across the bridge. How tall? Uh, the bridge is 552 feet above the water, and uh, the piers go down 210 feet to bedrock, and in the very center of the bridge, there's about 300 feet of water. The passengers, we don't recommend that the drivers right. look down, but the passengers have a pretty good view of the water. If there's a freighter coming underneath, they can see it uh, through the open steel grating. Maintaining the bridge is our number one priority, so uh, the crews do a great job. They, they take a lot of ownership in it, and uh, they know that if uh, they don't do a repair correctly, they'll be back in there in a few years repairing it, so they make sure they do it right the first time. Now, beyond the importance of it uh, being the main artery between the two land masses that make up Michigan, there's a lot of fun that happens on the bridge, too. You guys have events all the time. Oh, sure. We have 15 events. Uh, the first one starts in April, and uh, they go until uh, early October and, and uh, it's a great time if you want to run across the bridge that we have uh, four running events on the bridge if you want to bike across the bridge we have three biking events across the bridge so there's a lot of opportunities to uh, get up and personal with the Mackinac Bridge. We have about 100 employees at the Mackinac Bridge with about 50 of them in maintenance so uh, we really have as you mentioned no other option uh, other than the Mackinac Bridge if you're coming into the Upper Peninsula or if you're in the Upper Peninsula going south so to maintain the bridge is really important. So these crews are very dedicated. They're long-term employees, and uh, they preserve the bridge so it's going to last well into the future. The bridge is going to outlive both you and I. Well, there's two main cables. They're over a mile and a half long. Uh, there's, the wires are about the size of a pencil, and there's 12,580 wires. Each wire is capable of holding its share of the bridge weight and one vehicle going across the bridge. And because it's a suspension bridge and it hangs from those cables, it does move. Um, it doesn't sway per se, but if we get a, a big wind build up, usually out of the west, like if it's flowing 40, 50 miles an hour, the bridge will move up up to 35 feet at the center from its uh, previous position. And then it'll slowly move back as the wind uh, subsides. Beyond bringing goods, products, services, people in between the two land masses, what does the bridge mean to Michigan? Sure, the, the bridge is the most iconic symbol of Michigan. You know, it connected the two peninsulas in the 1950s. So it was really important to uh, connect these two peninsulas because they were separated by a body of water over four miles long. It, that was positioned in the east-west uh, corridor, so the, the waves and conditions in the straits uh, uh, are often very severe and not very conducive for boat rides all the time. So uh, to give a permanent connection to the state of Michigan was really important at the time, and, and still today, it's a perfect way to connect uh, Michigan's two peninsulas. That's a very, very cool place to check out. You want to check out the bridge cam? Yeah, you can go to MackinawBridge.org. You want to learn more about what's going on in the surrounding areas, like in the city, go to MackinawCity.com. We'll be right back.